Excuse me? It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. Thought I'd share my findings with you. First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And, as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, Maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you about the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions and rather convenient ones. That's quite the funny joke. It makes me want to puke. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? 
Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. So you came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Oh yes, because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Which one? Some people think you can recover from a cold fast. You want a shot? I've developed a fantastic. Oh, did you choose one? Thanks. This will work. There you go. It's accept. Thanks. This will work. There you go. Well, which do you want? That should work. Oh, okay. You want that one? Thanks. It looks cold outside. Oof. I really don't want to go out. That should work. There you go. Take care. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay. Sounds good. one all right sounds good that's what you're choosing you better not use it to pull a prank one. Sounds good. Uh, come again. How about this? Now, let us depart. 
Excuse me, is, uh... Whoa! Uh, hey guys. Looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... He asked me the other day... Something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going... His words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> ah, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be, but... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important and... I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from... whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well... I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Well... <laughs> if I must...
I'll reveal your true form. Pathetic crash. They didn't see us at all. It's time. There! Joker took one down. I gotta keep up. I'll break them. Persona! Last one! Oh yeah! Persona, you're mine. Hardly a challenge. Okay. Everyone all right? This Let's press. So fun. It's somewhere. This is perfect. I'll reveal your true form. Pathetic touch. Go he down. Didn't see us at all. I'll break them. Persona! Last one! Don't bother. Well, come. Well. How should we kill off the last? I can still feel the rush. It's a step forward. Okay. There seems to be a safe room near us. Let's find it and take a break. It's a safe room. Shall we take a rest? I'll just add this. Now, let us depart. Hey! Thank you for coming. She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact?
This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. Well, it's time. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer.
Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Sumire's fault! I can't live that kind of life! Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this. Looks like you lost. Why? Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please, I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. <laughs> I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire, to live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Did he? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, Escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no! I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders ever again! What the hell? 
This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here! This is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. It ate the smaller one? What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. Persona! Go down! Stop! Persona! Go down! Turn. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. <sighs> we can't afford to waste time on this shit! I think so. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that? Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Yoshi's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Ugh. So much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've gotta stop her first. Right, Joker? 
All right, let's get in formation. Okay, guys, leave the navigation to me. Let's push it back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? For my joy. Awesome! Persona! You're mine! my power! Manifest! What a persona! Let's go. Thanks. Persona! You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? Uh, that's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, 
What the hell's Dark doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace, is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maraki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want, but I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. If your views can't align with mine by then, we'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do, on the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got a rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um... Does this mean reality's broken right now, or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. So you're not here to fight us? I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! She's. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... that I...
caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester's starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. I didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Yeah, don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Oh, oh yeah! I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right! Why were you human, Mona? You're supposed to be a cat! I am not a... Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I've totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. I'm fine. What? School's tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep.
It's been quite some time. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. <laughs> <laughs>